Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Check it out. New watches on the market. I'm going to be testing these two guys here. These are the super rugged digital watches, smart watches by Cospet. I got two models here, the T3 Ultra and the M3 Ultra. I do currently have a Samsung smartwatch right here on my wrist. If you can get a great smartwatch for cheaper, why not try them out? So I figured I'd try these two out. So we're going to unbox these two today, put them through some rigorous testing. We're going to like run over them, drop them, hit them. They said even hit them with a hammer. So we're going to try all that stuff and put them in some water and see how waterproof they are. They're supposed to be military grade. They have it right there on the front. So anyway, let's get into it and test these two rugged smartwatches out. Okie doke. Let's get into the round one first. See what this is all about. My first time checking these out. So this little guy is called the Cospet Tank T3 Ultra. Main specs, uh, 1.43 inch AMOLED screen, 470 mAh battery. Wow, dual band and six satellite positioning system. Altimeter, barometer and compass, 24 hour health monitor. So it's got kind of all the stuff that you would expect from other smartwatches. Pretty darn cool. I like how they have these little safety tabs here so you know that your package was not open previously. That's kind of a quality control thing. I like that. Let's see what we got here. Very well done. So the packaging looks pretty darn nice. Thing is packed up perfectly. Let's pull this thing out. So this is the silver and I think this one is going to be like the dark uh, black. Wow, and it just, it actually just buzzed on. I even, I'm, I'm gonna touch that, but it just like turned on. Let's see what else is in the box here. So this looks like quality packaging, that's for sure. You don't normally see this in like such a cheap and smart watch like this. Mil spec standard 810H certified. Wow. So they're touting how durable these are, and we're gonna put them through the test. We got our folded up instruction manual, have a nice little wireless charger here. That watch is gonna sit on there perfect. Yeah, that's magnetic. That feels good, actually. Cool, so this is like a little extra like Gorilla Glass protector here. Oh, okay, dust absorber. So when you're putting that on, they have a little kit to take the dust off so it doesn't get under the screen. Let's check out the watch here. Okay, this thing is definitely pretty cool looking. Let's take off this seal. So they spent a lot of attention to detail, guys. A little QR code there on the back. This thing is um, pretty hefty. I mean, look how big that is compared to my other watch. This thing is pretty beefy. There's all of the sensors on the bottom. And that there is the charge connectors. So when it is on the charger, just like this, it's going to charge and that's good. It looks like the magnet is polarized, so it will not connect any other way unless you're on there correctly to connect those tabs there. You see those little spring tabs. So you can't put it on like this. You got no magnetic until you turn it and there you go. It locks in. I like that. Anyway, let's see how hard it is to put this band on real quick. It looks like we want the side with all these ridges to be touching you. The branding there it says tank there. So just looking at my existing watch, we want that top strap. I want that top strap to be on this side. So we're just lining up these pins. See how easy or difficult this is just with using the fingers. There we go. Two straps on, nice. Scan to download the app and pair a device. All right, so I'm just gonna scan it with my phone. App UTZ. And that's it, the Cospet Fit, only about 40 megabytes. And we're just gonna wanna follow the instructions on the screen here. Just agree. And here's where you want to make an account, I guess. I'm just gonna try my Facebook account and continue as Dustin, okay. There we go, so you have not bound to the vice. Let's add device, there it is. So it came up immediately and I'm just gonna click on it. There we go, check it out. I got pair, I got a vibration too, that's cool. So I'm gonna click on pair and we are set. 92% immediately comes up on the screen. Firmware is automatically updating that fast. So it's doing this all automatically. I don't have to worry about doing this. So. It's going about 1% every two or three seconds. So I'm gonna let this do its thing and uh, then we'll continue.
I'd like to go through this stuff with you because you know sometimes these things are unknown and you get confused so it's good to have like a video that actually shows you exactly what to expect okay i think it said watch will restart but i'm not seeing any restart here so do we have to turn it on let's just give it a sec it restarted on its own that's a really good valuable information it took about a minute for this thing to restart and come back on so there we go connected we're at 91 percent so we have can do all this stuff here so just like other smart watches we have all these settings we can do and set things up in the app here so we have the latest so here's the screen guys so look how pretty that thing is nice and bright amoled screen uh, that's the default there with the orange be able to change it and pick a bunch of different screens see like other watches you can just swipe up swipe down swipe left swipe right so there's all our weather so just like other smart watches it looks pretty good i want to put on this screen protector just so we can like really protect it when we do our tests so they give you this little kit where we have cleaning cloth so let's go through this real fast i'm going to open up the wet and wash the screen so i want to put on this i think it's gorilla glass so i do want to put on that protector so here's our wet wipe. So we'll just wipe this down really good. Get all the edges and the corners. I did touch it a couple times. Probably should have put this on before I started touching it, but I think we'll be okay. So there is the wet and let's open the dry wipe. Do a kind of our final dry wipe on there. I'm kind of surprised guys at the quality of this. I know this is kind of not very heard of brand. To me anyway, it wasn't. And I'm pleasantly surprised at how the quality feels on this. And if it stacks up to be as durable as it is, this will be one that is gonna really impress me. So then we have this dust absorber. So, you know, static electricity builds up before you put the thing on. So we want to take this sticker. All it is is a sticker, right? And we want to just kind of grab all the little pieces of dust and whatever. This might help to make it like less static. Final phase is this little guy. One side, the side that's going to be facing you doesn't have any film on it. The side that is going to be touching the watch has this film. We need to carefully take this off and not put our fingerprints on it. And then we're just going to lock this right in boom there we go that just sucked right in i'm just going to push it down see how it's kind of starting to suck to the screen so i'm just going to push all the air out that i can Did i do that right Let that turn off and try again so we need to kind of squeeze this stuff out and perhaps i didn't line it up perfectly so did you really want to line this up and probably what i should have done is use these guide stickers it doesn't really show in the instructions how to use these guide stickers so i may have slightly messed that up i'm going to try to just push it over a bit let's see if we can just pull this back Back off and try again. There we go. Okay, let's try that one more time. There we go. So that time I got it on and it just sucked all the way to the side. There is our screen protector to make it ultra durable. And definitely want to keep that on. And let's see how the touch screen is with that screen protector on. Okay guys, now that we have everything on, we can see how easy it is to swipe. Feels exactly the same. I don't feel any difference at all. There's still a little bit of a lip here so it can protect it, you know, from bumps and hits and stuff, but it does feel great. So this is the really orange theme here. You can see we're flipping through. We have all these different types. I'm a blue guy. That's kind of cool. I like that blue one there. As you may know, you can download any type of watch faces you want with these smart watches. So that one looks kind of cool for now. I'll leave it on that one. Before we start testing this thing out, I just want to show you what I have been wearing for the last year. I believe this is the Samsung Galaxy Active. So as you can see, the difference is quite drastic. So this one is brighter, looks beefier. Of course, you can adjust some of the brightness and stuff on this thing. Galaxy Active is more of a low profile lighter watch and this sucker is just beefy. So I'm probably going to be switching to one of these watches here. I want to just see how this thing charges before we go ahead and open up the other version over here. Remember the M3 we have to still open up and that's going to be the more of a square design and it's going to be that darker black finish. So I've got my little handy dandy power bank here and let's just plug right into the power bank with the watch charger. Remember it comes with this kind of magnetic charger so let's see how this works turn this power bank on a little buzz and that's what the charge actually looks like so that's a little bit too quick with that face sleeping as you can see it's a 91% right now and we are charging and I kind of don't like it shutting off that quick so I want to change it to at least 10 switch watch face on rise so if you wanted more of a randomized watch face you can turn that on so every time you lift it up to look at it it changes 
Now it's gonna wait 10 seconds until it sleeps. That's a lot more time to go ahead and look at your watch if you need to, and then it sleeps like that. So while this is charging, guys, let's open up the M3 Ultra. Definitely going to be the same features and everything, right? It's just going to be a different shape and a different color. Okay, guys, there's the watch. Same stuff in the box here. So let's give the M3 a quick look. And this is the color I like. Wow, it looks way more manly. I don't know, I just love this darker color. Look at that. So that's kind of a darker titanium type of color there. Press tap here. And the buttons do look quite different. Well, there is actually writing on the side, but it's a little bit more refined incognito. Whereas remember the T3, it was just this big round guy that had all this bright writing on the sides. So I do like that kind of carbon fiber design look on the edges. It's kind of neat. It's just kind of like a ridged design here. Sticking with that orange and black chrome look. There's the back of it there. There we go. I was just holding back, that turns it on. And then we can go ahead and choose our language and start it up, just like we did the other watch. Looks like the bands are just a little bit different. They have a little bit of a different design on them. I wanna go ahead and put this screen protector on. Remember, I kinda of messed that up with the first one. So here's our wet wipe, dry wipe. Just wanna get this thing as clean as possible whenever you're putting on. Okay, we'll just take our little dust sticker just to make sure. So here is our screen here just touching the edges right there drop it there we go not perfectly lined up but that will protect it you can see how that just sucked right in there so it would have been nice if the screen fit like perfectly in there in the groove but this one's definitely more flush with that screen protector anyway all the same stuff download the same app and there we go let's put on our watch bands there we go we got our bands on nice and easy. That literally only took about 30 seconds to get those on. Really kind of bendy silicone band. Seems like it's going to be very comfortable. So let's go back and let's try to bind another watch. So I'm going to go plus here on the app and we're going to add a device. Tank M3 showed up right away and here we go. So it's already connecting. That was so simple. So as you can see, this one's 94%. And it's just going to do the same exact thing with the same exact firmware upgrade kind of technique that it goes through. Super easy, that was way easier than I thought it would be. Okay guys, in the exact same process, just finish updating and it says the watch will restart. So, oh, different kind of watch faces. There we go, let's try that one. Let's pop this thing on the charger, see if this charges as well. Turn on my charger and there we go, both watches charging. Let's go ahead and test these and give these some hardcore tests. I wanna do run over these with a tire of a vehicle. I wanna freeze them. So let's test these guys and see what they can take. Okay guys, we need to get to some durability testing on these two watches from Cospet. It's honestly been over a month. I kinda like put this on the side burner, this review for a bit. And I can't believe how long they can last. Look at this, I haven't even charged it. I've been using it for almost a month and I'm still at 51% power. This is quite amazing. Before we get into trying to destroy these watches, I really wanted to just go over a quick update that this just had when I kind of like returned to these guys. And pretty awesome, the actual settings have improved. Find my phone setting. We have unit setting that we can can change all this stuff right here in this one menu on the phone. I have an Imperial, Fahrenheit, 12 hour system, and my unit of weight is pounds. The only thing that I'm seeing that hasn't changed is if I go into the watch and I try to do that altimeter thing, it's still only metric. Everything else, weather and stuff, now it's all in Fahrenheit. I was kind of having difficult finding that, but pretty amazing. I mean, this is the Samsung. This is the original watch I was showing you guys I was using. And look at this, this thing's at 3% power and it's only been a day and a half since it was fully charged. So we're talking leaps and bounds as far as battery longevity goes on these things. And I've had it just standard settings linked up to my phone and it's just unbelievable. It just blows me away. Watches that are actually less expensive than these name brands, Samsung and you know, iPhone, Apple watches and stuff. Okay, so this is the test bed truck here. This is a 4.0 2014 Tacoma with a tow package. It's kind of weighed down heavier with a rooftop tent over there. It's got some beefy treads and I think this will be a good test. And what I'm gonna do guys, just randomly put these watches down right here and I'm not putting them in any specific order, just trying to get them in front of the tire centered right on that tire there. 
You might even do the whole truck, like two tires, boom, boom, and then boom, boom, back. We'll see if I can keep it centered. Okay, here we go, in the truck, and let's just go forward slowly. I'm just gonna go perfectly forward as far as I can till I'm gonna hit my son's car. I'm gonna stop here and then I'm just gonna reverse perfectly back, not moving the steering wheel at all. And I'm just going slow, you know what I mean? So we have that pressure on them. I think that's good enough. Let's check them out. Oh wow, I'm already seeing some damage on my favorite one. Let's see if this one has anything. No damage on this one. Front is fine on that one. The back, a little bit of scratching on the aluminum up here. Oh man, but look at this one. The gravel went in and cracked the entire bottom of the round watt and it cracked part of this, remember kind of the screen protector. So I'm gonna try to take this off and see if the under screen is good, but that kind of ruined the whole watch because I'm seeing a hole in the bottom here. So not quite as perfect as we thought, and I just felt the watch shut off. So darn, I was hoping that this one would survive it because this is, this is the one I wanted to wear. So that's it for me, guys, as far as durability honest test. It looks like this one might be a little more durable. Front of this one is perfectly fine. So that's interesting. It looks like this one might be a little more durable, this rectangular one, probably because it's smaller. You know what I mean? It has a smaller form factor a little bit, and so the screen is a little smaller, so it has a little bit more integrity. It looks like this is the one we're gonna be continuing our tests on, and I always love doing this because we really just see the actual realistic durability of these things, you know? So I wanna throw this into a pot of boiling water, and we're gonna keep it in there, have it boil, and see if it survives. And then we're gonna kinda nail it with a hammer a little bit and see if that breaks it. Okay guys, always finding the pros and cons as usual, just being honest. I'm really bummed that this one didn't survive, but we have a survivor, the other one here, and this is our test bed here. I'm just gonna put the watch just randomly in here. This is one of those kettles that will automatically turn off when it's done boiling. So I'm just gonna let it sit here and see it go into its boiling state and let's check the watch afterwards. Oh wow, this sucker is now boiling at a full rolling boil. I hope that watch survives, but this is what it's all about. There we go. So that was the auto shut off, guys. So let's take this thing out of the kettle real quick. That is boiling hot water. I just wanna see if it works and then we're gonna throw it in the freezer. Can we power on? That's not good. I don't see any power up. Let's just see if it turned off to try to save itself and we can turn it back on. I'm just gonna hold the power here. Wow, so, oh, it's trying to turn on, okay. Whoa, and look at this. Watch temperature is high, power off to protect. So at least it powers itself off. I'm a little bit worried about that washed out screen look. Let's go from it being boiling directly into the freezer. I'm probably gonna leave it in there for about an hour. So we'll get back in an hour and we'll just see if we can turn it on. Maybe even if it has like a cold freezing shutdown, maybe let it thaw out in room temperature and just see really, whoa. Okay, I don't know if you can hear this, but now it's in like this constant vibration mode. Oh man, that's too bad. I thought I was gonna do better. Anyway, it's like using its vibration and just constantly buzzing right now. That's a little bit scary. So that might kill the battery. I'm just gonna turn it back on right now. It looks like we may have damaged that screen though. Let it sit in there for an hour. Bye watch. Okay guys, just about an hour now. Let's see how this watch is doing. Straight out of the freezer. And let's look at what we got. So buttons are frozen stiff. We're gonna have to let that thaw out, but check it out. The screen is almost unreadable. So the boiling did destroy the screen. So exciting, but disappointing at the same time, right? And keep in mind, guys, this is not stuff that I'm just trying to abuse on the watches. I'm doing these things because believe it or not, Cospet, the company that makes these watches, sent them to me to try to destroy them in a reasonable manner. And I think that's kind of reasonable. They told me to put it on high boiling heat. They told me to run over the watches with a vehicle. They even told me to try to smash them with a hammer. That's really unfortunate that it just destroyed the screen. No color whatsoever now. It's like a monochrome sepia tone screen. And 
Now the buttons are working, but it's not turning it on with the buttons. You see this? I'm feeling them pushing in and clicking, and I'm getting no screen there. So the only way I can turn it on is to kind of flip it. There it goes. So anyway, uh, I'm going to let this thaw out just for like maybe another 10, 20 minutes. Give it the benefit of the doubt because you know how things get brittle when they're freezing. And we're going to take this hammer and just kind of like smash it like this on top of this book and see how hard we can hit it until the screen cracks, okay? Okay guys, so here we go, the final test. It's been about another 20 minutes, half an hour, and unfortunately the watch just stopped turning on at all now. So it seemed like there was no touch screen ability. When I tried to like hold in the power button and it went to the off or restart screen, I couldn't touch it and it was just stuck there and then just turned off. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a smash test on this thing. So here we go. So I'm just on top of a book. Just have your regular old 16 ounce hammer here let's give it a try all right withstood that no problem that was a pretty hard hit too another one so direct flat hits no problem it seems like the problem might be with of course points so let's try the back of the hammer and there you go so you hit it with a point at a fairly you know hard hit and that's what's going to happen. Let me see if I can take off these screen protectors and at least it's doing its job. Look at this. So this thing is completely cracked, but the screen of the watch is unharmed. Zero problems whatsoever on the screens. So I'm assuming this one is going to be the same. Pop that up. So that's promising. The actual screen of the watch with this screen protector, that's why you want to put this on. Is it, even though it's damaged and you can replace the screen protector, kind of like you would for a, a phone screen protector the actual screen on the watch is completely undamaged so that's great if they were still working which neither of them work anymore with that run over test as you can see remember this just completely got smashed from the gravel opened up a little hole in the back this watch does not work anymore whatsoever remember the initial run over test in the gravel twice then the boiling it seemed to up work fine before the boiling and now there is absolutely nothing going on here so this one is also trash so exciting yet disappointing i'm sure if you use these normally they would probably last i was using this like i said this one my favorite favorite design here. I was using it for a month and remember I only dropped the battery down to 50%. So that was amazing to me. It looks like their battery technology and the functionality are great, but it's not living up to the durability, at least in the tests I did. And keep in mind guys, again, these are not just random tests I'm making up. This was asked by me to do these tests by cost pets. Things, hopefully they can improve. I'm not sure why they asked me to do these. If they tested this in their company and they were having these problems, maybe they didn't think that the tests were gonna be exactly how my tests are, but you know, everybody does them different. And this is how they survive my testing scenarios. Anyway, I'm gonna get with the company, but that's honestly what these things can do. They do very well on the top screens with these screen protectors so if you do get these watches and you were thinking about not putting these on just put these things on like i said you're wearing them as a normal watch you're not putting them through these extreme conditions they're probably going to be fine and hold up fine anyway guys thanks for tuning in and remember everything i review in my videos and my filming equipment is always down in the description down below so you can check out what i review here but anyway kind of disappointed that was fun though and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching